In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a really easy DIY fish trap with a few zip ties, some egg crate, and it works awesome. Hi, I'm Richard from the Beginners Reef, and I'm here to help you succeed with your saltwater aquarium by providing you with great information, awesome resources, and really helpful tips. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and anything that I mention in this video, you can find in the notes below. Make sure you stick around to the end because I've got a great beginner's tip that's gonna really, really help you. So this video is all about building your own DIY fish trap. If you've ever had to catch a fish in your aquarium, you will already know that it can be really time consuming and really frustrating. And you may have gone through three different traps already and nothing has worked. So for this fish trap, it's really simple to make. All you're gonna need is four things. First one, some fishing line. Any will do. Some side cutters, the ones I like to use are the flush side cutters because they don't leave any edges on the egg crate when you cut it. Egg crate, you may have already guessed. Um, you can get a sheet of this, like a four foot by three foot sheet from Home Depot Lowe's for about 18 bucks. Um, we're gonna need to make uh, six pieces out of it and uh, I'll show you how to make those in a moment. And the last thing that you're gonna need is some zip ties. Now the ones that I recommend are the all nylon ones and you wanna avoid the ones that have the metal clasps in the end of the zip ties. You can see in the picture uh, the ones you want to avoid. You just want the pure nylon, nothing else. You don't want to put any metal into your aquarium. So the first step is basically we're going to need to make four pieces that are going to make the, the tunnel of the fish trap. Now these four pieces are going to vary depending on the size of fish you're going to catch. If you're going to try and catch something like a damsel, you only need something small like this, maybe you know, six inches by 12 inches. If you want to catch a bigger fish, maybe like a, a yellow tang or something like that, you may need to make the tunnel longer and slightly higher. So you're going to need to make four of these that are just a bit bigger in size. Just be careful when you're cutting off the end pieces like this, just put your hand over it whilst you trim it because when you cut them they can fly off like a projectile. So now you've got your four walls of your tunnel cut. Now what we need to do is get the zip ties and zip tie them together. The way that I like to do this, I just stand them up, put a zip tie through, through one, through the other. And nip them up tight. Okay, and there you have the first part of your fish trap, the tunnel. So what we need to do now is we need to basically make two ends to go on, on the ends. Okay, so now we have the fish trap almost complete. All we need now is the trap door and that's where the other end is gonna come in. So what you want to do is you want to kind of loosely zip tie this door onto the, one of the edges here and leave the zip ties loose so it can rotate like this. Okay, so there we have the fish trap and you can see how the door just kind of hangs off the end here. And the reason why we want to leave it loose is so that we can then attach the fishing line to it to help act and close the trap. So the way that we do this, just get a load of fishing line. And what I like to do is I like to put the fishing line through a couple of 
squares back. So about three squares back. Just put it through and then tie it to the front of the fish trap door. And that is basically your completed fish trap. Now, the way that this works, and the way that I've used it to catch fish, is I'll sit this down in my aquarium, and right at the back is I'll use a turkey baster, and I'll put some food right here at the back. And then it's just a case of sitting there, waiting, and as soon as your fish comes in, all you have to do is pull up on the door, and the fish is trapped. It's really that simple. Unfortunately, you have to sit there and wait, but the best thing that I've found to do is to put the fish trap in and just leave it for 24 hours. Just put it in there, leave it for 24 hours, and the fish get used to it. Then when it's a feed, couple of feeding times, put some food in there, put some in the morning, put some in the, in the evening, and let the fish get used to food being in there. And just watch your target fish. Let's say you're trying to catch one of those yellowtail damsels. Just see how they are. What they want to do is they want to get used to going into the trap. So this is where it requires patience on your part. So just let it sit in there for 24 hours, put some food in there, let them go in and out, get them used to it. And then on the second day, put your food in there, sit, wait, just holding your fishing line at the top of the aquarium. And then when they swim in, just pull up and then you've got them. And then it's just a case of reaching in and then holding the door tight. Now, one thing you want to be really careful of is don't pull this out of the water with the fish still in it because when they start flapping around, the egg crate is really hard on their scales. So what you want to do is just get uh, a large fish net ready and basically just open the trap, put the net there, pull the fish into, or pull the trap out so the fish goes into the net and then release them from the tank that way. And that is hopefully how you'll be able to catch that elusive fish that is terrorizing your tank. So this week's beginner's tip is something that you can use to help new fish that are being pestered in your aquarium. I had this where I had a yellow tang and when I bought a copper band butterfly they were a similar size and the yellow tang was just terrorizing the copper band butterfly. So a fellow reefer told me this trick and it worked really really good and it's as simple as a mirror. Just a standard one, this one's from the dollar store, and it's still got the label on it for a buck fifty. Uh, basically what you need to do is just go and put this up against the side of the aquarium uh, just rest it on the ledge, tape it on there and uh, this is what happened to my yellow tank. He spent more time for the next day pestering himself in this reflection and he gave the copper band chance to get in and get sorted and he stopped being pestered. After 24 hours I took the mirror away and the yellow tang wasn't pestering the copper band anymore. So yeah, just a simple hairdresser's mirror, shaving mirror, whichever you've got lying around the house um, is, is really, really helpful. The other thing that you can use for this too is that you can put it near the top of the aquarium and you can also use fish that you're trying to catch to distract themselves. Again, yellow, uh, yellowtail damsels, they're very territorial. Um, you can put this up there let them just go terrorize themselves at it and put your aquarium canopy up if you have one and then just basically come in from behind with the net just slowly whilst they're just terrorizing themselves and sometimes you can just go and scoop them straight out. Um, so yeah, $1.50. So I hope you found this video useful. Uh, we've got lots more videos coming out every single week. If you want to try some other uh, fish traps, I've got an awesome article on loads of different fish traps that you can try because not the first one may not work for you, second, third, fourth one may not work for you, but there's a load of traps in there and you can go through the list just trying to figure out one that may work for you. You can find the link below in the video notes to the blog article and uh, make sure you check out our other videos that we've got here and here. And if you like what you saw, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can get more of these videos. I'll see you next time.